Law professor Nakib Ahmed was planning to return to the U.S. in a few weeks for his Ph.D. Instead, he was killed in a terrifying nine-hour siege. Students barricading themselves in classrooms, some desperately calling family members. She was just worrying and crying, and she was telling me that, please pray for me, because maybe this is my last time that I talk to you. Two attackers firing at will. They're just shooting to the, I mean, other rooms and classmates. The target, the sprawling American University in Kabul. A car bomb. Then, two men with grenades and guns stormed in. We didn't feel good and safe, so therefore, we jumped from the second floor. Afghan forces responded. U.S. forces were there to advise. The security situation inside of Afghanistan is still one that is... Uh, concerning. Earlier this month in Kabul, two professors, an American and an Australian, were kidnapped at gunpoint. Security in the city is getting worse, and the war, now 15 years since the U.S. invaded, is intensifying again. This morning in Kabul, more than 100 students trapped inside for hours were finally freed. Police say the two gunmen were killed. No claim of responsibility yet. It could have been either the Taliban or ISIS. This morning, at least three people are still in the hospital in serious condition. And for now, the university is closed. Matt, Savannah. Terrifying. Kelly Kobiea, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.